Hello, welcome to this tutorial of uh, how to cascade series. And um, currently, this is with version uh, 1.0.1 .1 that is going to be live uh, in a couple of days as up to date on Asset Store. Um, let's start. How start cascade in tool menus? You will have cascade manager and you can dock your manager so yeah <laughs> this is my suggested uh, work area configuration. So, user interface. The manager gives you the capability to have one single point to edit uh, and to create uh, your uh, cascade water surface uh, or your landscape. Quickly, <coughs> a quick start is we can click here and uh, we see our cascade builder in uh, an um, as child of uh, this cascade landscape. Uh, we can create more and uh, it's a hierarchy and we see those listed even in our builder and we can uh, shift from one to another and we can add uh, our legs and, uh, and so on. Uh, so let's go to delete. We can also delete from our uh, hierarchy directly and everything is in sync. Uh, with version uh, uh, dot zero one, uh, sorry, uh, one zero one, we started to add a toolbar on uh, your um, scene view. Uh, you can uh, move your toolbar and we're going to put uh, uh, in the toolbar, the main function uh, to handle your uh, landscape. I don't know when, but in one of the next features, that toolbar, <laughs> yeah, you can customize that toolbar and you can put your most used function as part uh, of uh, the toolbar. So, quick start <laughs> we create our river builder and uh, we have a small yellow sphere on top of our cursor and uh, control and click and we put our marker in uh, we have not yet defined a source of blinking any uh, cascade shader cascade material so by default the system will show this uh, let's say light azure ma uh, material so um, we a, a quick overview of our user interface we have global and under global you will find the uh, um, global setting and basically our setting in two categories that are uh, surface setting that is whatever it's related to the our surface and uh, gun setting yes gun because with uh, starting from that version 1.0.1 .1, we added a, what we can we, we think is a powerful and useful tool that help you to design your riverbed. So, and in fact, this uses something that we call a virtual mesh. And uh, if we shift to design mode, we have this view. That is, I can explain you. And um, this view, we have this virtual mesh that give us information on how the terrain is gonna be changed. 
And uh, if you if we want change, of course, if we have already our riverbed on our landscape, our lake ground, we if we we don't need. But it's always nice. And uh, you see, this is the standard, and this is the design mode, and. Uh, this is gonna be updated in real time and this is how the terrain is gonna be shaped yeah ah, we are trying to make tool uh, easy to use straightforward and when we can fast because you have always we are in edit mode so it's good to have a a fast workflow but uh, this has it's not good that a fast workflow impact the quality of our result yeah <laughs> and just as a sample we are happy with our design we click here and that's it our bed has been shipped and we can undo yeah why not we are not happy. So, uh, what is important is that let's do uh, this example. Uh, I'll confirm my terrain, okay, and uh, I'm gonna save my my scene and uh, demo, okay. And uh, after, I'm gonna close my scene. I do myself. I work on other. Uh, item for my wonderful game after a few days myself my team is gonna open the shin and oh, okay but now it's different so come on I can always oh, oh, oh sorry I have to select and I can always undo and uh, I can uh, move yeah I can move again again my in design mode I don't need to be in design mode to conform but you see it's really not really easy to to draw your uh, cascades of face your water system or your landscape and uh, conform it's I think it's pretty fast and that's it so um other option um yeah we have uh, a cascade surface um cascade material uh, we will see after in the next video and uh, we have cascade mesh that is our surface mesh and after we have gun setting in gun setting we have uh, the gun pad uh, we will see details on specific videos and uh, we have the path age this is something really important because usually you, you see this river maybe is nice but it's boring so path is always the same left age right age yeah it's true that I can I can change I can change the width and uh, yeah, I can also create again my uh, riverbed. But we can do a better work. We can create a more natural, more realistic uh, river surface and uh, with a more realistic terrain around nearby our river surface and here uh, <coughs> terrain blending those are global setting and uh, this impact uh, how what is the shape of uh, <coughs> our terrain and uh, we have started to introduce a simple uh, um, design tool where we can see the critical point critical point I mean where the <laughs> the flow as uh, the position of our market is going uh, from bottom to 
top and this is not and we can correct an auto slope and uh, that's our uh, our result but a bunch of those settings can happen even at uh, uh, node level so that's happened for our surface okay and that's happened for our riverbed and our terrain terrain ship we have in cascade even uh, <coughs> another uh, concept that is segments what is segments uh, we will have a specific video on, on that feature but uh, with segment it's a feature that allows us to define uh, uh, along our path a different area that uh, we have a different behavior and uh, this way they are going to use uh, always the same the same shader this is something that allows us uh, to give a continuity to your mesh and uh, in this continuity we can have different uh, kind of uh, uh, water system so we can have a part is a river a part is a lake and waterfall and uh, and so on. in this version uh, we have an able for uh, for now only the lake system and um, waterfall it works but you don't need to define any segment for now uh, landscape we have uh, uh, same features on cascade but here uh, we are going to put more than uh, in case you have a multi tile terrain in case you have uh, it's also a point of integration with um, other tools we are going to release uh, for example uh, a terra painter that is a spot map generator very very fast based on uh, uh, gpu gpu computation lighting this all of you to set and um, to create uh, uh, perps along your uh, your path and uh, we have uh, import export that we can import uh, uh, the path that is just the point we use it to make our path and that can can come even from other asset and we can export to other asset or just as backup uh, our uh, marker point and plus we are going to support the migration from uh, other tool that uh, are based on path generation to to our tool and we are really open to add more and more and just from your your input and uh, stamp when we have done we can we are going to create uh, a prefab with uh, our shape and the system create a mesh prefab and seal and uh, i don't know we are evaluating how to export as fbx but let's see your uh, your request uh, flow map is something that at the moment is working progress we have uh, an experimental feature in um, in um, our tour but our idea what we are trying to do is uh, to use uh, uh, to analyze yeah to create uh, dynamically the flow map and uh, this means according to the some terrain topology uh, we make our flow map and the shader will will uh, will work the stream uh, how the intensity of form and so on to this to this size so uh, really really just a quick and uh, fast tutorial on uh, how what is the main features the main interface of cascade thank you for watching and you can move to the next tutorial where we go in really really two minutes through every every single feature we have a lot of features but we hope that we have decided something that is really really straightforward to use for all kind of users 
and uh, artists, developers, and, uh, and so on. Thanks for watching.